Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Ashura Valley. Another entry in the 2017 Indie Game Maker Contest. Hmm, where am I? One more. It's a little tired, but it's okay to kill a newborn. Is he talking about me? Because I definitely don't look like a newborn. I mean, look at me. Does this look like the face of a young whippersnapper? Most definitely not. And if anyone's tired, it's probably him, to be honest. Great, I missed. Just what I needed. <sighs> oh, at least you know we're getting multiple attacks here. Well, at least we got some healing items. Let's see, keep TP. Each fight begins at 30 TP. Eh, I don't know which one's better here. Keeping TP is usually more useful. Okay. You should know a free star. It shows a very militant race. You don't have any stats. Anyone will attack you. You can prove yourself only by challenging the strong. Okay. Oh, well, I'm definitely going to get out of here. Well, I found a stick, eh? Great, that's some great find right there, a stick. Well... I wish I could fight some of the people that are in fights. That's not gonna be really fair, two on one. But I guess we're meant to follow. Well, no. Guess I can't go that way. Uncomfortable feeling, eh? Well, it looks like there's some newborns there. Wait, is that a bee? I hate bees! Ow. Okay, I need more TP first. Oh, at least it went down fairly easy. Why is there a cave there if you can't enter it? That's a serious question, too. What's the point of a cave you can't do anything with? And why am I slower than these hornets? I mean, come on. Or it's not exactly known for, you know, their overwhelming power, usually, okay? Let's do this. Come on, pop the hornet. Okay. So the hornets respawn? They do, okay. Useful. Try and get a few levels in before we get to the newborn, because I'm assuming, you know, I'm gonna have to fight one of them. At least one. But at the same time, these hornets don't exactly drop repair parts, so grinding on them may be dangerous. Especially, you know, if they can dodge my attacks willy nilly and lay down the herd. Don't exactly have the ability to take a lot of hits in this game without being able to respond to it. It's kind of brutal. <sighs> okay. Not a hunter, just like us, eh? What the hell is going on here, and why are they attacking us? I've been living here for a week. I know a little bit. They call us newborn. They kill us for spare parts. Escape from the hunt will not be round up, but they will challenge you. For you to start a fight, not to stop until death. Gotcha. Why? Seriously, why? I don't get why we're fighting right now. I really don't. Was there a point to that? Uh, 
Um, emergency shield, I guess. What just happened there? <sighs> gotcha. That doesn't mean much anything. I can't even do anything with that stuff. Okay. Um, skill. Repair parts, maybe? Sora sucks I have to keep using that stuff up, though. I don't exactly have an infinite supply of repair parts. Oh, let's get out of here. I suppose they would, but if they can hit me hard enough, they'll be a major problem. Okay. Equipment. Being able to move faster would be helpful. After all, if I can hit the enemies first, I can, um, grind more readily. Let's try challenging a chicken to a fight. Okay. Might want to go grind on some hornets. After all, if I'm faster than them now, I can definitely get some levels quickly. Try and prepare for the fights to come. No, they're still faster than me. Gosh darn it. That's just annoying. Especially seeing as they don't drop repair parts. Or if they do, it's a very rare drop. Seriously, why can't I outspeed these gosh darn hornets? I don't get that. <sighs> Well, at least I'm faster now. After getting up to level 4. Jeez. I'm just not sure what a good level would be in this game to continue my um, pursuit of the targets. I feel like an underleveled Terminator, you know? You must slaughter all opposition. But you're going to be under-equipped and under-prepared. I also don't know why these hornets aren't like robots, so when you kill them, you can get at least minor repair parts from them. Don't necessarily have to do much, just, you know, a little minor healing, maybe like 5% or something would be nice. Especially when you accidentally walk into that stuff. And take a minus 10. Ugh. I guess that's more my mistake than anything else. Okay. Let's go pop another one. Because I'm not sure I can take any of the villagers right now. Oh, come on. I seriously have to miss there. Well, I guess I might as well pause. After all, I'm going to want to grind up to like level 5 or 7 plus for all I know. I'm a pretty patient grinder when I need to be, okay? So give me a little bit so I can prepare for the villagers. And I'm back. I only reached level 5, and then decided, you know, to give up on it for a while. <laughs> gotcha. Well, now, let's challenge you. A soldier approved by the king, huh? Well, let's give you a slam. Gosh darn it. I don't have any healing items left at this point either. And my special attacks can miss, huh? Gosh darn it. Why are my skills always at the blow, man? Well, that was a nice, um, lockdown there. Well, good. Found some repair parts. Gotcha.
If the user is more agile than the enemy, attack three times. Attack an enemy four times touched. I'll take that. Or half chance resistance freeze cast asleep. Well, gosh darn it. I don't know which one's worse there. Okay. Durability 2. Gotcha, so it's probably gonna break before I even get out of here. Well, nothing for it. And of course, they're basic repair parts, which aren't going to even help me that much. Yeah, I'll replace that file, all right. Okay, magic, huh? Huh. <laughs> well, that ain't going to help here. For the moment. Well, that helps. Ah, try tearing apart with wind, gotcha. Well, at least we're able to dodge it. Gosh darn it, don't miss. Something just blew me back there, weird. Okay, speed swordsmanship. Okay, thank you, repair parts. Higher the luck, the higher the chance of half the damage. Lucky casting. Um, I'll take lucky shield. Well, they both had swords. That will improve my magic, but I don't really care about that. Especially since the blocking is helpful. Well, we'll go with that for now. Probably should go recharge my, um... TP, to be honest. That way I can set myself up for the next fight. i am able to spam, you know, multiple slashes right off the bat. Of course, killing of these guys, you know, gets boring, I'll admit. Okay. going down sooner rather than later. Though I hate the fact I'm constantly missing such low-level targets. Like, these hornets aren't even good, yet I'm kind of constantly swing and miss, you know? And you think that wouldn't be a thing so much. It's one of the reasons I eventually had to give up trying to grind, you know? Because you just take so many hits. And there's no benefit from the horns themselves, since, you know, they don't give you any healing supplies. They're useful for TP setup, but that's about it. And even then, people might argue that's questionable if you can't reliably, you know, smack them around. Okay. Well... That blows. Well, at least we both got dodge in. Just two more kills and I'll have enough for three spams. Good. Well, four, actually. Hopefully that means I can get the kill before my shield wears out. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Who knows if that's what I'll actually get, though. You never know in a game like this. Though it is weird that chickens aren't more deadly in this game, because usually chickens are, you know, your worst enemy. It's not even a joke. Okay. 
Let's um save here before we take her on. Okay. Wind slash, eh? Don't really like the idea. So I'm guessing she has some sort of protective shield I had to tear through first. Damn, that's annoying. Oh, dang, that skill can help set itself up, huh? Really? Always gotta worry about that, I swear. Not even good ones. Okay. I wonder if skill after the fight. Cleave. Reduces damage, attacks two enemies. And attack all enemies. Well, I guess I'll take Cleave. Exploit weakness. Well, I'll take that. Okay, enhance. This doesn't slow me down any, but I can't build a shield then, huh? Well, then. Double edged sword. But I'm willing to take it. Okay. Well, that does it for that area, I guess. So, what, do I have to work my way through, like, all the villages, then I get to meet the king or whatever? And where would be the next target? The next village in line? Do they have anything new to say at that one place now? Well, I guess I can check out the newborn and see if they got anything new for me. Oh, dang, that hurt. Gosh darn it. Well... Nope, nothing. Sub bars, it looks like there'd be paths you could take in here, but they aren't. There's dead ends. <sighs> which means we gotta experiment with where our next target's at, which is terrible. Yeah, I suppose. Though, are we sure it's the weakest? You know how it goes around here, you'll think someone's super weak and all of a sudden they kick the crap out of you. It wouldn't surprise me if the clerk here, you know, is a massive butt kicker. Okay. So I can buy stuff from you, huh? Okay. That might come in handy. I'll use a gun and a tower shield. I can stand up again while I'm seriously injured. Gotcha, so you can spam skills. Well, dang. All these fights sound annoying. I just wish you could spend your money on recovery items instead of, you know, crystals. And I hate how this has cut off text, too. Gotcha. Increase start maximum. The next three attacks restore 6% of maximum plus half the damage. Okay. Enhance. Uh, 
Um, not really looking forward to that. Might regret spending that money, too. Okay, we got... I doubt you could. Okay. Well, the goal there was to reduce damage. That's ill. Gotcha. Not bad. Though his gun's proving quite annoying. Okay. Got him. Well, now. Gotcha. Trying to return Raleigh. Gotcha. I'll take triumphant return. Okay. Have the damage. Well, we'll go with that. For now. I don't know about equipment, though. It's a seriously powerful weapon, but I don't know if I can use other skills with it. I mean, I still can't equip the shield, but can I do a three speed strike with it? I'd be surprised, but I guess we can test it. I also like to see how that um, new enhancement works out. Okay, so I can't use it. Or I can. So I can use a gun like a sword. That is weird. I mean, I like the fact you can do that, it just doesn't make much sense. Like, seriously, how does that work? I don't know. It's also cool I can now heal, you know, for free, effectively. Since, you know, I can always kill these things quickly enough to do that. Ah, great. I still have to worry about missing, though. Well, whatever. I think I'm going to stop here and work on some grinding, then prepare to take on my next set of targets. Until then, see ya.